So I've been skateboarding for like 11 years already so far and I can also say that skateboarding has also been something I lay down on all the time. Like every time I have something going on with me, I go straight to skateboarding. It's also because I stuck to this lifestyle ever since I was 9 years old and I had multiple friends that came and gone. I had best friends that came and gone all because we would stick to skateboarding and skateboarding simply wasn't for them. And I don't really blame them like that. It, the skateboarding has taught me like people are not always going to be here forever like it could be your best friend it could be your anyone it could be anybody in general like they're not always going to be there forever people are always just going to come and go into your life people are just going to be there and friends are friends but we all have priorities in the end of the day we all have things we want to do in our own ways and if you have friends that are doing something with you right now and then they end up like ditching it because they don't like doing it anymore no and you start getting upset that's not really right for you to get upset about because it's not really them you know like obviously skateboarding is me and i like i said had a bunch of friends that just left me because they weren't into skateboarding and i made multiple friends off of skateboarding like literally i have a bunch of online friends right now and i feel like the skateboarding youtube community is uh it's way different from the, the thrasher type vibe, you know? I know it's kind of cringy to them to have a skateboard YouTuber here with blue hair and talking about why skateboarding is his passion. Um, I just have a voice and I want to speak it. So, and people appreciate that and I find it awesome. And if I could like motivate you guys or like anyone watching this to be like, yo, I have a voice too, let me speak out. Instead of actually trying to feel like the cool guy all the time. Um, it's not a big deal to speak about who you are, what you want, how you, everything thinks. You know, it's not afraid to speak. It's not. You could do you, and people judge you. Fuck them. You know, I, I don't care. But yeah, this is what the video is about. So just move on to the rest of the video and try to just make fun. You know, you know, it's been a pretty rough day for me so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheer myself up a little bit. I'm gonna go on this little playground. Haven't went in the playground in a long time. I'm gonna slide down this slide. A lot of you guys may be wondering why the fuck I'm gonna slide down this slide. Trust me, this is gonna make me feel a little better. Cause it's been a little rough day, a little rough morning. So if you guys feel rough, just slide down some slide. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck? What's your problem, bro? God damn. This is why I've been having rough mornings. <laughs> Cause that guy. <laughs> All right. So I'm here with the homies right now. At a spot, got a board that's not snapped, actually. Hey Gabe, you think you can film me doing that nose slide? All right, so I got a nose slide trick I wanna do. Right here, on this ledge. Long ass ledge. Wait up, the exposure on this is pretty bad. Well yeah, this is a ledge I'm gonna do the nose slide on. I'm gonna just nose slide all the way over there to the end on that spot. And you're gonna film me. Ready? All right, so I got the no slide like in third tries, but low key behind the camera, I was like trying it a couple of tries. Get comfortable, but it was literally like second try. I actually tried it, so I'm gonna actually try a trick you guys cannot see. So, yeah. So I guess that we alarmed the the alarm system in the school right now. Like after we start filming that one part, don't be surprised if we see a cop right now. You better be ready to run. There's someone in the school for sure. Yeah, you can, yeah, you put your ear up against the door and you can hear it. For real? You can hear it right now. Oh, like, okay. Just don't, don't open it. I don't know why the fuck it is. Yeah, you could hear it. It's a cafeteria. You think that was us? Uh, he just tried opening the door. I don't oh, know why. Oh, shit. Well, the door was already open. Yeah, it's, if the door was already open, then why, why is it our right, stuff going off? It'll probably just go off. If anything, the cops would just come or they'll just leave. No, I'll just try to get this clip. But your shit was fucking so fire. Good. Shit, fuck yeah. Thanks. Now you didn't snap your board. Oh, I know. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys are fucking like my audience. <laughs> Hype me up. <laughs> Alright, now let's leave. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, yeah, let's leave. <laughs> I fucking like that. Killed it, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, you gotta learn how to do this shit, because I'm not gonna do it. You got tools? Use that shit. Use the smallest one. 
No, I would have stole it from you. It was my size. Wait, how? Is it even close? It's a 775. What? Here's this. I'm going to give you a 10 minute timer until you're done. And if you're not done, you owe me. You owe me. Uh, you give me an ice cream cone. Yeah, if you take a cup. All right, started. I gave you too much time. You have five minutes exactly left. That should give you five minutes. Guys, so I want to touch on my one thing before I end this video off. So after I landed my trick, I came to the car and some guy that you guys may know named NKA Vids. He uploaded a new video talking about his life story and something that happened in his life that um, kind of affected him like really bad. And I, I kind of took this one home. If you guys don't know who this guy is, uh, I'll put him in the link in the description. I used to watch this guy's videos ever since I was really fucking young. Like I was so young and skateboarding was obviously my life as a kid. And this guy helped me progress and think like, yo, there's other people out there young just like me, out skating, you know, having fun. I had a couple friends that are featured in his channel and it's so insane, like, this guy. I got to skate with him, I got to see him, you know, I talked to this guy personally. He's pretty cool, he's a cool guy and everything. So he put out a new video and I think this is like one of the best videos he puts out. My inspiration, my idol, telling me who he was and what he's going through and all these problems he's going through and like, he lost three people in the past couple of years that are really close to him, his brother, his sister, his dad and everything like that hit home to me because that's my number one fear a close one passing away which is my mom my mom is my my whole world dude like i'm a mama's boy but i love my mom and we've been struggling for the longest times dude like me and my mom and when he put out this video it kind of told like touched me like basically saying like everything's gonna be okay i know my mom's not gonna pass away for a long time but it just it gets me thinking bro like honestly this is like the scariest thing in my life like someone passing away in my life i haven't dealt with it besides from an animal and that's my number one fear again so nigel alexander ever watched this video thank you for uploading that video appreciate it bro like honestly everyone needs to everyone needs to hear things like this like their favorite creators have to be going through something their favorite youtube star is going through something bro and um it's crazy it's it's very inspiring it's very inspiring really excited it's coming for the future guys i'm honestly excited and i hope you guys see you guys soon and keep watching my videos like it share with your friends enough of the blabbering peace out